In today's tutorial, we will go through extrude both and cut features, dimensions, and start and end conditions of features. And remember, my goal is to help you understand the features and to use them freely, not to copy exam examples. In this tutorial, I will try also to show you more the feeling of uh, SOLIDWORKS exam. As you can see, on the left side of my screen, I have my SOLIDWORKS. On the right side of the screen, I have um, drawings. It's a bit more uncomfortable when you're on the exam because you have the separate views with sizes and uh, separate pictures. In my case, everything is on one place. So you will have as a task to build a 3D. You will have a drawing of this 3D. My example will be with something that probably everybody knows. This is a single piece Lego brick. Also, on the exam, you will have uh, two or three dimensions, which will be marked with A, B and C. Later on the stage in which you have to modify the part, you should modify first these dimensions, then make a bigger modifications of the part. So let's have a look on our drawing. We have a Lego brick, which is with size A8, when you look in the, the text, and size B, also 8. We have here also center point. So we will start with a drawing on the top plane in which we will add a sketch. Then make a rectangular. Now what we have to do is measure size, size B, which is 8, and size A, which is also 8. If you wonder what, why I'm not starting with the center triangle, uh, rectangle, sorry, this is because we do have a distance for our center here, and I prefer to measure it that way because later on the changes, maybe this size will be important and this size is constant. So we have that constantly, we have four here and four here. And now we have a representation of almost everything which is in this view. Then we hit OK and start extrude both you can start it also directly be without hitting OK. So what is the start and end condition of a feature? Start condition is your from area. You can start from a sketch or different surface plane or vertex or offset it on some distance. Just to, to show you when you click offset and give 10, it will start on 10 millimeters away from your plane. We want to start from the sketch plane. Here we have the end condition. It's blind up to vertex, up to surface, offset from surface, up to body or mid plane. When it's blind, this means it will go in one of the two directions, which are perpendicular to your profile with a size which is written here. We need this to be height 3 millimeters, so we type here 3 and hit enter. As you can see, changes our preview that it will go on 3 millimeters in that direction. If you want to change the direction, you have to put to push this button here. So for now, I'm okay. So this is my first part of extruding. Then we have to model the top cylinder. Now, usually people will start with hitting on this surface because it's starting from there and then create a new sketch. I will make it a bit more independent from the surface itself. And I will start again on the top plane with a new sketch. So I can show you also how to use different start and end conditions. We have here a circle with a diameter of five. 
and then we should extrude it from this surface here on a distance 5 millimeter from the base. There are two ways we can do that. We go to features, extrude boss. One option, one option is to choose offset 5 and then make it up to this surface. And you will have it exactly corresponding to the drawing. The other way to do is, this is to make it on, on different offset tree and then offset from surface top here you have to give reverse offset and then you choose a distance 5 okay you should also reverse the offset here on the top so this is the direction of the offset related to the surface and this is the offset related to the surface plane. As you can see, if we reverse it now, it's not working because we don't have 5 here. So this is the correct way. But the other is much easier, so I will go back to it. So we have a offset 5 from the main plane and up to surface Okay, so we have the outer part. This is with height 3. This is, if you hit, you will see exactly 5, the size you want to see. Here is the tree. Then what we have next, we can see here that inside we have uh, cutouts. One is square. And we do have also an angle. I will start again from the top plane. Here we see that the thickness of the wall is 1.5. So the most comfortable way to use this to make this is to use offset of the surface. We need 1.5 and we need it reversed. Then hit OK. The next thing which we can see from the drawing is that our cut first has angle and second it's ending on one millimeter from this surface. So we go to features, cut extrude. We are starting from our sketch plane and here we will use offset from surface, this here and one. To make the angle, you come here on this icon, draft on and put one degree and then we say OK. So for draft you should know that by default is making it inwards. If you want to change it to outwards you have to mark this here but we want it inwards. Then we are ready with this cut. Now we need one more which is inside. Again we can see that here the wall thickness should be 1. This means that this second cut is circular because we have a circular shape on the top. So I start again from the top plane. We have 1 millimeter distance on the lower area so we measure from here to here to be one and what else we can see is that we actually have an angle here too and in this case it's really important to choose the correct start and end conditions if i go now to 
cut feature and just make it offset from this surface with one millimeter and put the draft it will start making the draft from the plane on which is the sketch and to have it correctly we should choose that our cut is starting from this face and then our sketch is projected on this face and from there on starts our draft and then we hit OK and so our part for this first stage is ready and you will be asked on the exam to apply a material and to check the mass properties but materials and mass properties will be covered in a different tutorial now we are focused only on extrude boss cut and also start and end features on further steps as i said you will be asked to change some of the dimensions you just have to know which dimensions you have to change the easiest way to access the dimensions for change is to double click on your model when i click here or double click here i will receive the dimensions of main extrude boss and I can easily change them like I can make this 10 and this also 12 for example and then you can refresh and you will see the changes as you can see we have defined that this is on distance 4 from this edge here so this is not changing if we want to change back depends on which feature you have to change you have just to double click this is for the cut this is for the other cut so while building build it in a way which will be comfortable to work after with this model so for the next part of the tutorial I have prepared a different kind of model based on our base one this will be the part in which you have to modify what you have already built as you can see the relation 44 is still there but size a is two times bigger now we have two cylinders on the top we have more cuts and we have additional shape on the bottom what we will start with is the sizes that we already have as variable size this means we go to the boss extrude so this is our b this is our a a is becoming 16 we rebuilt as you can see the cuts we already have especially this one has adapted to the new size this is the part in which is good to have some planning for your model but we miss the second cylinder to here the second round cut and also this additional extrude so first i will go again from the top plane add a new sketch show the sketch from my previous cylinder or in this case actually i can hide it it's not so important to have it add a new circle make this vertical with the one below and make this size equal then we see that we have eight millimeters between the centers we add this size and now we have two different options to finish this extrude 
one option is to choose from this surface up to this surface or the opposite. The next step is to add the second circular cut. Again, I will go from the top plane, add a new sketch. This is concentric here. And all I have to do is check my previous cut. So I will show this sketch and make these two equal. I will use the same approach like on the previous cut. So starting position, this surface, but here I can say up to this surface because they should be same. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so starting position, this surface, and you have to click here, finishing up to this surface. And don't forget to add the draft. And then, okay. Now we can hide this sketch. What we have left is this additional boss extrude here. We go again to the top plane, add a sketch. Here will be the easiest way. This is in between these two circles is to add a construction line, attach the center to the center here, define the sizes, which are three and one. Then we just make extrude balls up to this surface. But as you can see here, we have also one degree angle. In this case, the one degree angle is outwards. This means that for the outer side, it will go out outwards. And for the inner, the cut, it, the cut will go inwards, actually. But this for the extrude balls is outwards and this is exactly the correct way this one should be done and we hit ok and our modified model is finished we are ready with today's tutorial don't forget to practice all the features that i have shown in today's episode especially start and end conditions so you can be confident and take your exam without any stress